anastomosis on the back of thigh. Back of thigh is separated by three arterial anastomosis. Trochanteric anastomosis, cruciate anastomosis and longitudinal anastomosis. Longitudinal anastomosis, it is located near linea aspera along insertion of adductor magnus. It is formed by following arteries. Ascending and descending branches of four perforating arteries. Ascending and descending branches of four perforating arteries. Superior muscular branch of popliteal artery. Superior muscular branch of popliteal artery. Longitudinal anastomosis is formed by ascending and descending branches of four perforating arteries. Superior muscular branch of popliteal artery. Ascending branch of first perforating artery takes part in cruciate anastomosis. Trochanteric anastomosis. It is situated near trochanteric fossa. It is formed by following arteries. Ascending branches, descending branches. You can see two ascending branches, two descending branches. Ascending branches of medial and lateral circumflex femoral arteries. Descending branches of inferior and superior gluteal arteries. Descending branch of inferior gluteal artery, descending branch of superior gluteal artery, ascending branch of medial circumflex femoral artery, ascending branch of lateral circumflex femoral artery. Cruciate anastomosis. It is situated at the upper part of back of the femur at the level of lesser trochanter. It is formed by following arteries. You can see two transverse branches, one descending branch, one ascending branch. Transverse branches of medial and lateral circumflex femoral arteries. Descending branch of inferior gluteal artery. Ascending branch of first perforating artery.